You're watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, no more dentures. According to my first guest, we're talking about replacing missing teeth with dental implants. With us, we have an expert on the topic, Dr. Eli Jackson. Dr. Jackson, welcome to the program. Randy, thanks so much for having me. Now, before we get into today's topic, and I know you brought some photos, so we'll I make did. time for those. Uh, for people that don't know you, who's your typical patient? And what are the different okay. services you Randy, offer? let me tell you about our typical patient. Uh, we see very young patients all the way to the very elderly patients. Like how old? Uh, in their 90s. Okay. We actually have had patients that were over 100 before. What did you do for them? They just come in? Uh, just came in for regular dental work because most of them had their natural teeth. So they were great patients, actually. So All right. Uh, yeah. So we really, you know, uh, run the broad spectrum of treatment. We do fillings. We do extractions. We do root canals. We do crowns. We do bridges. Uh, and although we don't like doing them very much, we do a lot of dentures. Um, I went we, to your website, and, and you call them facelift dentures. Why is that? Well, what does that mean? I'm glad you asked that, Randy, because facelift dentures are a lot different than our conventional dentures. Uh, facelift dentures are made during, uh, by doing a, uh, using a neuromuscular technique. It, it aligns the jaws with the muscles very relaxed. Okay. And it allows the patients to smile better, eat better, be more comfortable. Uh, it, they're just a very exciting way for us to make dentures. Okay, good, good. What else do you do? We, uh, I think I mentioned that we do crowns and bridges, but one of the big portions of our uh, practice is we do a lot of sedation dentistry. A lot of people are very anxious when they come to the dentist to get dental work done. Nobody likes going to the dentist, Nobody right? likes going to the dentist. Do you still hear that? I mean, how oh, they, all the time. What do they say? They say, I hate coming to the dentist. And what do you say? And I say, well, we hear that all the time. <laughs> I don't take any offense to it. And they're like, no offense, doc, you know, <laughs> but I hate coming to the dentist. Okay. I said, well, that's okay because that's why we're here. We offer all levels of sedation, anywhere from the laughing gas, the nitrous oxide, all the way up to, you know, a little Valium with that, to the oral conscious sedation, and we even do IV sedation now. And that, that really helps the benefit to the patient. Okay. They, they can come in, uh, we can perform years of needed dental work in usually just one or two visits, and that's just an incredible value to the patient. A lot of times they'll come in just tremendously anxious, and they'll wake up, and they'll say, Doc, is that it? Is that and, right? and and we're like, sure, it's, that's all it takes. And so many times we can convert those patients to a, a relaxed, normal dental patient. Randy, one of the new trends in dentistry that we really like to do are dental implants. Okay. I've been working with dental implants for 12 years, and it's just a great service to provide their patients. Okay, good. So so, and today we're talking about replacing missing teeth with uh, with dental implants. And at the top of the show, because we've had a discussion. You say no more dentures, no more traditional dentures. Elaborate on that. Okay, a traditional denture is just in the mouth. It's not attached to anything. Yes, people can get by with traditional dentures. My parents had traditional dentures. Uh, unfortunately, they had them before I knew how to work with dental implants or else I would have placed tradition or placed implants on my, on my parents. Uh, but a uh, traditional denture has nothing to attach to. Okay. Dental implants allow you to attach, to fix the denture to the patient's mouth, and it essentially becomes almost like they're real teeth. So are there a lot of people wearing dentures in like your town or your county? Randy, there are people in my area that have had dentures for years. There are thousands of people, that w not only that we've treated, but other dentists have treated in our area over the past several years. And I must say, you know, the people that we've been able to attach their dentures to implants versus the people who have the conventional dentures, it's a difference of night and day. Is that right? It, it transformed their life. They, they can kiss better. They can eat better. They smile better. They're a lot more confident. Uh, they have no more sore spots. It, it just it just changes their life. It's a transformation and, and it's just an awesome thing to be offered to our patients. So with these thousands of people wearing an upper or lower denture. Is that is that right? That's right. Why aren't they all doing it? That means if it's that easy, you just attach them to dental implants. Right. What's the hesitation? Uh, In your, I, what's your take? My take is that uh, if they knew about the dental implants, most of them would do the implants. Uh, I think a lot of people, when they got dentures, they associated it with a lot of pain from infection, extractions, and so forth. And it was painful back, back in the day when they got their dentures. 
Uh, today with the new techniques, there's very little, if any, discomfort. Uh, a lot of times we can, you know, place implants without even placing stitches. Most of our it seems painful. Well, it's not really something. And, they and can I think that's about? one of the misconceptions. It does seem painful, but with the newer techniques and the newer surgical techniques, most of the time we can place implants with very little, if any, discomfort. Most of our patients go home with a prescription for ibuprofen. And so that's one of the things I think keep people from having implants these days. And the other thing is a lot of these people that have had dentures 10 years or longer, they don't tend to go to the dentist anymore. Okay. So they don't know about the new techniques. So what, you know, I wish we could make everyone aware of is how great placing dental implants would be. You know, they could eat better. They could chew better. They could smile more. Um, they, you know, they could laugh without fear of their denture falling out. Are these fears that these people have? Everyone I mean, that's what they tell you on the consult? All the time, all the time. So, you know, the implant treatment is the way to go. Let me give you an example. Take a patient with a lower denture. Okay. They have a lot of options. They can come in, they can get two implants, and we can attach that whole denture to those two implants. They can get four implants. It would be even more secure. So full arch of teeth. With four, with four implants. implants. So a lot of people don't come in because they the misconception is that they might need an implant for every tooth that they're missing. Most of the time, four implants on a patient on the lower can give them a full arch of teeth that's very, very secure. On the top, they have the same options. They can do two implants. They can do four implants. But most people that get them on the top like to do six implants because that allows them to get rid of the the part of the denture that covers the roof of their mouth. And that's one of the things that they hate about that upper denture. Sometimes it makes them gag. It, it causes a uh, loss of sensation from the warmth of their food, the taste. Uh, so if they can get the roof of their mouth, if they can get that uncovered and, mm -hmm. and still have solid teeth to eat with, they are just tremendously happy. Okay, then you, you, we've talked on the phone. You say that how you do it is not how it's normally done. That, uh, that means you do everything under one roof. Right. Uh, typically they would go to one, maybe a surgeon to do the surgical procedure. Right. And then they go to another doctor at another office that puts the crown on top. They could, is, yes. Is, is, yes, is that that's right. right. Now that's you right. do both parts. We do both parts. And it allows us to uh, make it much easier for the patient just coming to one office to have all their treatment done. Also, Randy, one of the benefits of us doing it all in our office, it allows us to control the design of the denture a lot better. We can place the implants where we know the bone is. It allows us to design the smile. The function ends up being a lot better. Um, it's, it's just much, it's just a much better result if we can do it all under one roof. I mean, do they look real? I always feel like I could spot, respectfully to you, I could spot somebody with a denture. Well, and, and there again is the misconception. The bad dentures look like dentures. The good dentures don't look like dentures. So if the denture is made correctly, it's very hard for anybody to tell that a person's wearing a denture. And you say that, that it, 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 it's not that painful, because it seems painful, I mean, that, you know, with something going into the bone. I know it seems like that, Randy, and that's one thing I really want to stress to patients who have that misconception. Okay. You just numb them up with a simple dental anesthetic and then you treat the implants and many times the patient, I promise you, they, they look up at you and say, we're done, that's it. And they say, do I need some pain medicine? And generally, if they really insist, we'll give them some pain medicine, but for the most part, we just give them ibuprofen and that takes care of the, the pain. They just really, it, it doesn't hurt at all when they're getting it done. So how old can you be to get uh, like, like for a denture where somebody's wearing dentures, how old can you be? Age makes no dif difference. Age is not a factor. It, uh, it, it's depending on the patient, okay? We, we've had patients in their 90s get implants. A 90-year-old? Yeah. So why would a 90-year-old want to do it, though? Well, the 90-year-old would want to do it for the same reason anyone else would want to do it. They want to eat better. They want to chew better. They want to look better. So. Just because they're 90, they don't have any differences in what they want than somebody that's 40. So if you're 90 years old, are they more likely to fall out? No, okay. that's, that's one of the big reasons that people decide not to get implants. They think they're too old, but 90 is not too old. 75 is not too old. Anytime you, know, you want to 
make your smile better, to eat better, uh, just feel better, you're not too old to have that done. Isn't it true though, that if, if, if you've been wearing a denture like 30 years, that you don't have enough bone to get dental implants? Is that true? Not necessarily. Okay. A lot of people do. A lot of people, that's another reason people don't come and get implants for their dentures, because they've been told that they don't have enough bone. But with the new modern developments in implants, they're smaller, they have different coatings on the surface of the implants. You have three-dimensional x-rays now that you can place them much more precisely, which really lessens the need for extensive surgery. A lot of times when people have heard that they don't have enough bone, a lot of times now we can place implants in those areas for those patients and they can wear implants and have dentures attached. So over the years, have you ever had to turn anybody away and say, no, you don't have enough bone for dental implants? No, Randy, we haven't. Now there have been times where we've had to enlist a specialist to help us, but virtually if we can get somebody into the office and let them evaluate it and let us evaluate their mouth, then they can eventually have implants. Now you brought a model. I did. W what is that? I did. Randy, this is a model of a lower denture, okay? okay. That's the replicant replication of a lower jawbone, and okay. it's got four implants in there. And I don't know if the camera can pick this up Let me or see, not. hold it, to, yeah. So, so right there, those are just attachments. They're like snaps, okay, attachments, uh, that hang on to the little implants, and they snap in, okay? Let me take a look at this. And then they hold in like that. Is this about how strong they that, normally are? It's exactly how strong they are. Okay. And so, so just, you know, snaps in, snaps like we were talking earlier, there are some patients, they're so tight, if they have some arthritis or whatever, it's hard for them to get them out. And so sometimes we have to loosen the tightness so some patients can, can get them out. That's how, that's how well they fit. Is that right? And so let's just suppose you put four or six implants. Uh, what could they eat? The more implants they have is going to allow them to eat a little bit more regular food is what I call it. You know, they can eat, they can eat uh, fresh vegetables. A lot of patients with dentures now can't eat that. You know, peanuts, carrots, things that we take for granted, they can't eat those things. Okay. But with two implants, with four implants, then, you know, then you start talking about steak, you know, hamburgers, <laughs> uh, okay. you know, six implants, you can eat anything you want. So it, you know, it, it's just a great transformation to the patient's life to be able to eat whatever they want. And it's just something that people that have teeth kind of take for granted. You say the day, the, the day of the procedure, people can walk in without teeth and they walk home that day with teeth. A lot, of, a lot of times that's exactly right. Now I can't promise that in every case, but many times we can, we can give them teeth in a day. Is that right? Now you brought some photos. What are we looking at there? Well, I did bring some photos, Randy, because I really wanted to share some of these. Some of these are just great. Here, here's a lady who you know, came to us just, you know, she, she, she did not like her smile. She already had an existing denture. She okay. hated it. She hated to smile. And if the people at home can see the, the photograph, the smile we have up there on her before picture is just a forced smile. She, it was very difficult for her to smile like that. So she wanted us to make her a beautiful set of teeth, which I think we did. You know, and here's the after. And if you look at the after now, wow. she is just, that's, that's her normal smile now. You, you, can, you can see all of her teeth. Her, her muscles in her face are relaxed. Her eyes, that's what I like to look at. Her eyes, if you look at the before and the after, her eyes are mm -hmm. just really sparkling now. Uh, <laughs> so, and whereas the before was always a forced smile, she smiles like this all the time now, the way you see her in the after. So it's just an incredible transformation and she was so happy. And that's a, so that's a cosmetic denture. That, that was a cosmetic facelift denture. Randy, if you would look at the, the after picture, I just want you to look at it and tell me, does she not look happier? Does she not look a lot younger? That's than, true, she looks before? younger, she looks younger. And you know, it, it's all because of her, of her new denture. Now, she wasn't quite ready for implants at this point, but one of these days, she is going to come back and let us attach those dentures to those implants, and then she's going to be able to do whatever she wants. She can, she can eat. She can go skydiving. She can do <laughs> okay. whatever. But uh, one of the beautiful things about this is once we seated that final denture, she was so happy. You know, there were just tears of joy. Well, and when those patients start crying like that, my whole staff, they, they <laughs> wow. all get involved too, and, and they come and they ooh and they ah. 
just because it's such a nice transformation and we like to feel good with the patient. So it makes us feel good as well as it does the patient. You have more photos. What else are we looking at? They're very nice, by the way. Now here is a patient that we treated. She came to the office and if you can look at the pictures, she really hated her teeth. She hated to smile. She was very self-conscious about it. But we really knew we could help this lady. She's very young, which really plays to our heart because nobody that young should have to have dentures, but some people do. Okay, so we were able to transform her smile. And as you can see, Whoa. she's a very confident young lady. She, she's, she's a beautiful young lady. And so it just made us feel good to be able to help her achieve that. Now we did do four implants on her. So those dentures snap in and out. So four implants on that the top. snap that in. Yeah, and so they're in there rigidly. She can take them out, but she can eat virtually anything she wants to. Let's look at the before and after side by side. Tell me what you see. Tell me the transformation you see just by looking at the pictures. Well, she looks younger in, in, in the after. I agree. Uh, and there's no doubt about it. She looks more sophisticated. Uh, <laughs> and those look like real teeth. They do. And, and, and uh, do they tell you, I mean, when it's all done, do they say, oh my goodness, I should have done this years ago? Well, in her case, no, but in many cases, they just say, I can't believe I've gone all these years and didn't know that this, this type of treatment was available. And so anyway, I like to look at this lady and just kind of pretend like they were twin sisters. Okay. And they were going in for a job interview. Okay. Same age, same education. Um, but if you were a potential employer, which one do you think you would hire? Well, I would hire the one that looks happy and positive. And, and obviously has a lot more. So if one isn't that, smiling, yeah. Right, right. And she's got a lot more self-esteem, confidence. So she's going to be a better employee for you. So that's the kind of thing that being able to do this type of treatment does for patients. Do they smile more because of it? Yes. Before, they, they rarely smiled, if at all. Most of the time, people will hold their hand over their face because they don't want to smile. And so now they, they get a beautiful smile like that. They're smiling more, they're talking more, they get compliments all the time. And the more compliments they get, the more they smile. She's had to relearn to smile, by the way. She, she, she went so long ashamed of her smile that once she got a pretty smile, she just didn't realize how much better she looked until she started hearing compliments from the people she knows. Well, you know, going into this, knowing I'm going to interview a dentist, and then you told me on the phone how it changes their appearance, I was a bit skeptical because right. I'm like, it's just teeth, right? right? But anybody would agree. I mean, this gal is, you've increased her attractiveness uh, on the superficial level, but that's the truth. I mean, she looks better. Right. And her probably future is different because of this. Right, and not Possibly. just and not just because of her looks, but because of her looks, she she does have more self esteem. Okay, you know she she is more confident. She projects herself better. Uh, she she's just got a lot better personality now. She's you know not really a whole new person, but she acts like a new person just because of the just because of the confidence level. Randy, let me show you one of her patients that's pretty typical of a lot of the people we see. She's in her fifties. She unfortunately had severe gum disease. She hated her smile, but she did not want a denture. Unfortunately, the gum disease was so pronounced that that really was her only option, okay? So we took her teeth out. She's, one of the, she's in that category of denture patients who had their teeth, end up having to lose their teeth, and we placed dental implants the same day. Okay. And so we, we took her teeth out, and we placed dental implants, and then once she healed, we, wow. made, we made her a permanent denture. Randy, just look at that smile. That's, that's the kind of thing she was able to, to achieve. You know, Very nice. Unfortunately, having to take her teeth out, but we were able to make her a denture that, may, that looks just like real teeth, that enables her to have a beautiful smile. So although she really did not want to lose her teeth, the result, you know, I think speaks for itself. So as a recap, for people just tuning in, we're talking about replacing missing teeth with dental implants and also for the denture wear, according uh, to, to Dr. Jackson, no more dentures. So what are the options? Like on the consult, what do you talk about as far as options for denture wear? Okay, we talk about the pros and the cons. And really there aren't any cons, they're all pros. I remember one little lady, she came in and she got two implants on the lower and she just was unbelievably happy at how much better she could eat. She'd had dentures for 20 or 30 years 
and just was never able to eat what she used to eat. So she was just, just overwhelmed by how much better she could eat, how few sore spots she had. And then you can get four implants. And I remember this one guy, he, he was a construction worker. He worked on the road crew. And he didn't think that he could afford dental implants, but we worked it out so he could afford the, the dental implants. And it's just amazing. He said, Doc, I can eat anything I want to. <laughs> and so, you know, he's been telling all of his friends, you know, he doesn't care that they know he has dentures. He just wants them to know how, you know, how much better he feels and, you know, why it's such a great treatment. And then, you know, I, I remember there's this farmer that we've had recently. He came in, he wanted to get rid of the roof of the denture. He hated, he couldn't feel the warmth of the food. He couldn't taste his food. They went too far back and they wanted to gag him. So we did six implants on the upper for him. And it's just changed his whole so life. So they get a full arch of teeth with on the upper. With six implants. And then just, implants. they're firm in there. They're firm in there. They snap in and out. They can clean them every day. And you know, it's, it's so for six, with six implants, they get a whole, whole upper arch of teeth. We gave him his new denture. They snapped in and out. He went, he went home. He tried eating steak that day. He could eat steak. But he came in and he said. That day? That day. That Is that day. right? Exactly. And, but what made it for him was just the fact that he could feel the food on the roof of his mouth. And that to him was, was everything. You know, it was just more like having his natural teeth back. And okay. so it, it just really, you know, made the treatment for him. Some people come in and they don't want any type of denture at all. They want something that's fixed in there that does not come in and out. And we can do that. Okay. Gener generally, there is more cost involved. Generally, it's a lot more detailed. You know, there are a few more appointments, but we can provide them with a fixed set of teeth, almost as good as their natural teeth. And, you know, they don't come in and out. So they function like they're, they're real teeth. It seems like that's what everybody would want though, a fixed set of teeth. I, I agree with you, Randy. I think that's exactly right. And we're glad to bring patients in and go over their options with them because that might be something totally feasible for them. And we'd like to provide that for them if, they, if that's what they choose. All right. Now, for the people trying to avoid false teeth, okay. right? Isn't it true that, I mean, most of these people, because they have bad gums, right? can they still get dental implants? They can still get dental implants. That's one of those misconceptions we talked about earlier. They feel like that if they had gum disease and lost their teeth because of gum disease, that their bones weren't healthy enough to hold the implants. But once the gums are healthy, once the teeth are gone, the bacteria is gone, the gums become healthy again. So yes, they can have dental implants just like they you do can. a lot of IV sedation. So they go in and, and you say some, it's like an amnesia effect. Right, the type of medicine we use when we do sedation, Randy, it, it really does, it creates an amnesia effect. And when I tell the patient, they don't believe me, but so many times the patient comes back for a follow-up and they say, Doc, the last thing I remember was pulling up here to your office when my <laughs> wife gave me a ride. And then I don't remember anything else, you know, about the entire procedure. So many times the patients tell us all the time they don't even remember getting anything done. They don't even remember coming back to the dental chair. And for people who are anxious or who have a dental phobia, there couldn't be anything that's any better than that. It allows them to come in and get their dental work, not just pain free, but they don't have to uh, be traumatized by the, the experience. And that's, that's one reason why they avoid the dentist. So it just allows us to help a lot of people that otherwise can't be helped. But back to the denture work, what do you call it? You call it snap-in dentures, snap-in, snap-out, what do you call them? Stabilizing the denture? I call them fixed removable because when they're in there, they're fixed, but the patient can remove them. So it's the best of both worlds. They can clean them every day, okay. but yet when they're in there, they're fixed and they can eat, they can smile, they can laugh just like real teeth. Now. You say you have uh, fitted people with over a thousand dentures over the years that have been to your practice. And I'm sure some of those people that are wearing dentures that you, you fix them up with are watching this. And what do you want them to know about dental implants? Well, I want them to know, I don't want them to be in that same category of patients that once they get their dentures, they feel like they never have to go back to the d dentist. Because if they haven't been to the dentist for, for many years, they don't know anything about the implants. What I would like to say to them is there are better options out there for you. You might be getting along, you know, uh, with your conventional denture, but I just want to tell them how much better their life can be if they have some implants for that denture to attach to. 
So there is uh, no such thing as a happy denture wear. I mean, I know a few denture wearers and, and, and they never complain about their denture. Well, you're probably not gonna be the one to hear the complaints. Okay. Their, den their dentists hear their complaints. All right. Their dentures break, they crack, they lose teeth. They uh, have to wear, stick them to, to get them to stay in. Those are the complaints we hear. And the, most, the main reason why they feel like they perceive that they're happy is because they don't know that there's anything better out there. I know my dad, he, I, he always told me that I was always trying to get him to come in and let me make him a new denture. Because the one he had, I felt like I'd done a great job on, but, and it fit really well, but he would always get it out and he would have sore spots. Food would get under it. He, he just hated that lower denture. And, but if you ask him, he would say he was happy. He said, oh no, it's fine. Just because that's what he thought dentures were supposed to be. And most denture wearers, think that's the way they're supposed to be. So if we could get rid of a lot of those problems, I think the happy denture patients would be a lot more happy if they were attached to implants. We're out of time. So final message to somebody missing teeth, uh, and especially if they have a loose fitting denture, what, what do you say to them? I say if you have missing teeth, if you have a loose fitting denture, even if you think your denture fits well, if you've had it for 10 years or longer, I would invite you just to come to our office and let's just sit down and discuss your options. So I think there are many times we can really improve what you already have. And on that consult, how soon can you tell them with confidence that they would be a candidate for dental implants? Okay, Randy, when they come in the consult, once we have an opportunity to look in their mouth, five or 10 minutes, we can tell them if they're a candidate for dental implants or not. All right, there's no more excuses if you're missing teeth. You, right. you say it doesn't really hurt that much. It, it, very, very little, if any. And sedation, so that you sedation, know, nothing, have you to... don't even remember it. Okay, well, good. I want to thank you for coming on the show. Very, well, very, very good. Thanks for having me. You've been watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues. 